behalf of Amity Global Business School and our director, Professor Pankaj Shukla sir, would like to welcome our esteemed guest, Mr. Sobhavadhu Chakar Bhorti. I have only one slide for you. One slide. So what do you understand is a lot of misconception about this. So most of the people who might speak here, they also have no idea what they want to know. That's the biggest problem. So the idea here is to clear all these things about digital marketing because most of the people sitting here think Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, how to run campaign, how to SEO, and a website. That's really good marketing. Right? That's what you think digital marketing is, right? So all of you look for understanding how to run a campaign, how to do a little bit of SEO. Most of you will end up doing a course on SEO. And all of you will think, oh my god, I'm a great digital marketer, I have a certificate. Certificate means nothing on digital. By the way, I don't have a single certificate. I don't have a single certificate on digital. Zedia, zero. I teach in IMS, but I myself doesn't have a certificate to prove that I have a certificate. What I have, I have functional knowledge. Around 20 to 30 people who work with me, including the people who are like the company, these are the people who are skin people who I control them. Most of my people, most of them, are all certified, except me. So the idea here is to first answer a lot of queries which you have in your mind about this. First I will talk, since you are very close to passing out, I think the first thing which I would like to talk is most of you are looking for jobs. All of you think, I need a job in this field, so you look for thinking where will I go? Why a industry guy will hire you? Because you know Facebook marketing. No, obviously. <laughs> Facebook marketing, Twitter marketing, LinkedIn, all these things can be learned on a YouTube. You don't need to go to the teacher. Right? So, what are the type of jobs are there if you really don't know? You are jumping into an ocean not knowing whether it's a sea or a river or a pond. Also, most people head into understanding of this field because a lot of companies have floated in a lot of certifications. Two twenty thousand 20,000 rupees digital certifications, advanced certification, another 15,000. There are lots of courses of from 200, 299 to 30,000. A lot of, I don't want to name, a lot of big companies have come in just to take money out of this business. Because they think most of the Indian industry, neither client nor people nor school educate about this. It's a very blurry, little, little thing. So my idea is to first demystify that. Most companies don't even understand. People very then each company which majorly industry. See, I'm talking here, I think average is 24. Less than that. Less than that. So before you took birth, I was working. So I'm talking from that perspective. You know what I did, which I was sharing with you earlier. Enters here, I got 27 years experience. I first took those experience into a dustbin. It has no meaning now. All my degrees and IMs, everything is irrelevant. I behave like a student, so I could survive. Most of my friends who are also CEO are struggling in life, lost their job, drizzled out from the cable. Everything is going down because most people try to hug their degree and the certificate for a long, long time, thinking that degree will protect you. No, degree doesn't protect you. Degree will never protect you, right? So these are something which I'm going to tell you because you must be thinking, this guy is going to talk on what? Facebook marketing? That I know. Twitter marketing? That I know. Campaign? That I know. SEO? I can learn it. So what will you go to the top? What I'm going to tell you right now, you will not do it. You will not find those things in Google. So this is one, number one. Number two point is, if any of you come from a technical background, your career suits into technical part of the, of the, of the parameters of jobs you have. Website development, coding job. If you're not good at that, you will not into management. Another interesting part. Who makes the website design? Any idea? Who makes website design? A website designer? How do you think whatever he's telling is right? You will not know. 
like a salwar shop or a sale, he will show you five designs and there will be a board. And everybody will say, oh, I like the design, so okay, yeah, make the website like this. That's how it will work still in the corporate life. They have no idea about it. So before making a website, there's something called wire Wireframe are done by intelligent people who understand wire journey. Most website developers are incompetent. They just code. They look for theme, make something and they present it. And most of the brand managers marketing it without going accept the thing. Wow, my website looks so good. You know how websites are done? Websites are done by simple thing. You go to your competitor. And copy, 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 copy. The best part. And then tell, this is the best things I have around all these people, all these company. Can you now make a website of what we have done? So this is this is what happens in the real life. Most time I see all of you must be thinking, website is not my own. Why will I work into a website? I'm a marketer, I'm not going to do it. But you will not know that most of the users will come to your website and be high bounce there. They will not know what to do. So technically, even if you are not a technically uh, high rated person, but you should have a great knowledge, understanding, user journey. Uh, a time will come very soon when you get a job and your boss will tell you why so much of traffic bounce is happening. Can you fix it? You know what will you do? You will actually blame, blame the guy who made the website. And you will not know how to solve it. Because uh, you thought it's a technical job. This is what happened in the real life. So please, uh, friends, very soon, reality will hit you very hard. And at that time, there's nothing called suggestion questions. Because when you read the examination before examination, you go through lots of uh, suggestive questions and answers. This is the 15 question generally comes. This is the 15, 20 question generally. If I do, I'll get a good rating. Like catch it, see, but most of the time, but it's you. It's always out of sequence. So, in my life, I never went through suggestive questions. If you think that that will help you, God help you. Because you are going to be an irrelevant marketing manager. And very soon, you will lose job. We have no idea how fast people lose job. We have no idea how fast internship get, uh, you know, shut down. People go, they work, and in 15 days time, they each have figured out that person is not good enough. They send them back. You only think the great part of it. You only think that just because we have some daily, some brands, even that's a passport you get through, life is not Reality will hit you because you cannot face a reality world. And why will people pay you? Just because you pay a hefty fee or you went to a great college or a great school. No. They will pay you because of your knowledge. If you have a faulty knowledge, half baked knowledge, irrelevant knowledge, how many of you have a phone here? All of you. Correct. When was a weapon the last time you upgraded this phone? The new phone, imagine. Previous to this, what is the difference of two years? Every two years you change your phone? Okay, every every one half years, two years, three years? Average three years and four years. Android phone doesn't last for more than five years. Average. So, chalo, for the, for the, for the take of uh, logic. Every three years, average we change your phone. Why? You upgrade. So, when was the last time you upgraded yourself? When was the last time you thought, okay, let me learn something which is not my syllabus? Not much. When was the last time, and this is going to rise to catch you, and this is what you will face in the business school. And what will happen, what will happen, what happens here in the case study, life, what happens in real life is a life case study. So uh, your boss will not give you too many chances. Your boss will not give you, because if you are not doing anything, a uh, great case study is here, you may get lower mark. But if you are not uh, solving problems, uh, so my dear friend, these degrees and certificates mean nothing. Believe all it means, you know, is a great attitude of learning. You have to be an ever learning student all of your life. 
If you just think I just got a degree, enough of 12 years of study, life is school now, another 3 years, okay, now let's get a job. Uh, here, what will happen, the most of the professors, the teachers, they might shout at you, they may howl at you, but your boss is going to insult you. Your boss is going to make your life horrible. Your boss is going to not scream you, but also fire you. This is really. So you must be very, you may not like certain professors and teachers because they always put you on the line. You should be, this is the last, last line of comfort on which you are After this, college is over, life is going to be the worst thing ever in your happen in your life. Major is going to be worse. 99% of chances that you will get a worse than a horrible boss. 99.59%. You will not get a boss or a leader who is actually a teacher. You will not get a boss who is actually care for your education. You will only get a boss who will say, if you do it fine, if you can't do it fine. You know what is PIP? They give you a pink slip and say, 15 days I'll observe it, you can't perform, I throw you off. In my corporate life, we have seen Many interns coming from the best of the colleges get fired. Many interns who come and work, they don't even survive. After the internship over, they never get hired. It is one out of hundred or two out of hundred gets offer letter while they're doing the internship. And you pay all of you pay the same fees, I guess. Yes. Just imagine this is the professor, he she teaches here, same to everybody. But only one or two of the best marks. Or imagine if you don't have a best mark, it doesn't matter. If your attitude is wrong, you get fired. Your certificate and your school will not fail. So the most important thing in life is attitude. That are you do you really know what you know? Do you really want to know? If you think I know all, life is going to really catch you hard. Now next next comes to the topic of research. So there's something called personal story. There's something called Interview expert, there's something called research specialist. These needs analytical bread. You need to be very good in Excel shape. You need to be very good in understanding lots of, I uh, you know, brief based on which you work. Uh, it's a, it's a very difficult. Let me tell you, if you think digitally is so easy, please welcome to reality. You will not find, you will not able to, you know. Uh, work in a, in a brief more than one month or two months is going to be absolutely hard because digital is like a motherboard. One thing goes wrong, another thing will not function. One thing uh, goes out of circuit, another, another thing will not work. So this happens on, only on digital. Most people think, and then like a, I also come from traditional school. I also come from old school. When I when, when I started my career, there is no digital. So most digital marketing has, has one relationship with another. If your Twitter don't work, your social media will not work. If your social media blogs don't work, your traffic will not work. If you fix your traffic well, your conversion rate will not happen. If your conversion is not happening, maybe the content is not okay. If the content is not is okay, you maybe the image is not okay. It's a very complex format. All of you sitting here must be thinking, what is guy step It's so simple. Because I just did a course, 299 rupees, I got a certificate. Life is going to really hit you hard. You have no idea. And at that time, you can't go back and open your textbook and come back and say, so give me some time, let me do some research. Life only gives you second chance. So, content marketing, designing, ACO. So most people, all of you know ACO, I'm sure. Little bit of what is it? Imagine three of you must be thinking, I want to do a course on ACO. <coughs> do you know the salary of an ACO? Any idea? If you really want to be an ACO guy, what's going to be your first salary? From the top companies I'm talking about, 15,000 The first salary starts off 10,000 Less than of your driver if you have one. This comes in. So, I will advise, don't focus it on this. Do you know the SEO world or the SEO structure will fall? None of you know here. You know something called programmatic bias of a software, which can do a SEO management 
buying and selling and distribution of a content within half a second which does a job of a 20,000 AC executive with zero effect, with zero mistake. That's the job of a programmatic buyer. So all the AC executives who did a lot of courses right now working in the SEO company, they will lose their job in the next two to three years time. Because or they will be paid less. No one will pay SEO more than 15,000. Even if you go higher, you become a group head or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Your salary will never cost 50,000. That's really the issue goes on. He must be thinking, I just got a CEO course. First job is going to be 25,000. You're the dreamland. You'll never have that. You'll get paid for less than a time. That's the job of dropping. I'm not saying ACO is bad. I'm saying ACO cannot be a career graph. You should know ACO. You should learn ACO. But don't try to be ACO expert for a long time. Because that job will be taken care by a software, a programmatic software already running in across most of the agencies of the world. So this job will vanish. Okay. You know, uh, you heard of Cosmopolitan and Vogue magazines, all of you. Who writes the content? Who writes Cosmopolitan content? Who writes? All of you must be thinking it's a human being. It's written by robots, AI software. Just imagine where you're right. You think? All the magazines are written by human beings. You're so wrong, you have no idea. 60 to 70% of the content. And you know, you want to do that? You can actually pay 30 to 40 dollars to a software. Then Google also. <coughs> Give the keywords. Tell the brand to it. Tell how many big SA you want. In a half a second, sign you'll get the content. With the SEO and best Google friendly content. $30 to $40. So some of you must be thinking, I am going to get copyright. You can, but you will never do it. Who uh, approves design? Your bosses. Most people do things. So you like something, then you go to a boss and your boss will say, wow. This is, I, I like the headline. I, I like the, you know, the book. This is very nice. You know there is a call, uh, software called Headline Design, which I use. That software tells me the headline which I, my people wrote is actually a powerful headline which has four categories of intelligence of emotional words, strong words, uncommon words, emotional words. These words will create such a lot of uh, neurological signs or what they call cognitive load will be less than able to click. You know more than 34 words if you write a headline, human brain cannot read. Do you think your digital school or any course will teach you this? Not possible. They will teach you or any school or anything or any certification will teach you SEO content right. Who will decide the who decides the grading? The best grading. The best grading are also uh, done by software. Okay, I don't know whether it works. Imagine you don't know coding. You want to make a website. You know there's already a software that launched by Microsoft. You just do the design the software will do it. Do you think you will get the best of this other? I don't think so. Welcome to the real world. I think you will be very, very bad. Let me just point. I'm not going to make you a uh, you know, shock and get uh, horrified and then try to tell you the truth. Thousands of people lost their job every day. Hundreds and thousands. I get job application for not a single thing. I only teach people who have minimum of 15 years experience. You know that I don't teach. Generally, I teach blogs, but I don't know only what from with this right experience. And most CEOs are worried. Most CEOs are also scared because no one is going to hire the same CEO using as a government. It doesn't understand it. So, outside this room, outside this campus, it's a different world. You know what you see? A wonderful big office. A beautiful cafeteria, amazing sound and music. You say, wow, I've done it. I have done it. I've arrived in my life. You go and take a picture of a selfie with the company I've joined. In Facebook status, you give, I joined XYZ. But you have no idea how many people don't post, I lost my job in XYZ.